Greetings to all and welcome to this last video where we will just do a demo of the work that we have done to explain the basics of uh, Oracle Apex. So we will simply go to the app. What is the name of that app? It is CMSAP2. Now we are in the app. Before going to do the demo, we are going to check that everything has been erased from the database so that we can start from the clean state, go to object browser and select the correct database. In database, admin, is there any data in the admin data? No data. Any data in the courses? No data. Any data in the lecturers? Empty. Lecturer courses? No data. Persons? No data. And students? No data. Student courses? No data. So the database is empty. Now let's go and do our demo. We are going to CMSAP2. And we will simply run the app. The app should start running. I'm going to log out and start with my credentials as the administrator. These are my credentials as the administrator. I will dot com and then this is my password as the administrator of the system for now i'm simply going to copy this because i will need it inside a test sign in i've signed in you can see now i am the admin I'm no more the lecturer. What can I start? Let me first create a course, new course. What is the course code? We'll call it uh, uh, philosophy GH101. We call it philo. Of basics. Okay, it is a level one course and it is a semester one course. We can create the course. From here, the course has been created. It does create another course. Now, let's take something in computing. We can call it TS1. And we just call it physics of programming. And the level, let's make it, let's change a bit. Uh, let's make it level 1 also, but the semester two course and we can now create the course very very good once we are there we can go to the lecturer and also create two lecturers the first lecturer that we like to create let me just take myself professor Yono Bono SD then uh, my full name is here, except that I'll call it Prof. And uh, the phone number, we just call it 0921345. What? Agenda, I am a male. Uh, my title is a professor. My office is, let's say, C1 Theta Path. Right. Then we have created myself 
another professor, lecturer, that input or the data for lecturer. This time we'll call it doctor. It's still there. Uh, Yes, Dr. Yonobono SD, the full name this time will make it a doctor. The phone number is, let's put any phone number and the gender, let's put it as a female. The title is a Mrs. The office is, the office we can say D. Okay, and we create. From here, we have already seen the lecturer. We can now go to the admin. Let's just create one admin staff. Input new admin details. And I can just paste. Remember, I was an admin, my full name. If I go there, I'm going to call him. Manager, we can call it manager, and then the phone number, any phone number, and then we can start with 047, this is the phone number, the gender, the admin, let's make the admin a female, and the landline, let's make it a zero. Four seven seven, and this is the address of the admin created. Now we can carry on in the admin. We can carry on. We can now create a check. No student. Let us input data for student. We have two students. The first student will now be myself as a student. Yes, this is the student. From there, we will go to the full name. This is myself, but I'll call it student myself. And then the phone number, we can put any phone number and the gender as myself would say I with unknown. As the student number, we will put a 2010, one, two, the student number, and the student has been created. Now, we have created, I think, all the, the courses. If we want to see the courses, we can list the courses, and we see the courses that we created. Then we can carry on. If we want to see the lecturers, we can retrieve the lecturers. Those are the two lecturers. And from there, if we want to see the admin, we can check who is the admin. The admin has been created. And if we want to see the students, we can also present who are the students. Oh, let us create another student. So that where are my students? Let us enroll. Input. This is input another students. So here we are going to take Zukisa, was one of our students from Zukisa. The name is Chief Sooks. That is the name. His phone number is O. It is a, and then the gender is a male. The student number is 2019 This is student number. We have created a new student. So from here now, we can go and see who are our students, present the students, and you'll see that we have two students. We will stop for now, and in our next video, we'll carry on with other menus. Thank you.